Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Give Us a Cthulhu Adventure. We are going to be checking out the door to Lemon's room. Well, hopefully going into Lemon's room now that we got the key in the last episode. But we also managed to put some sort of enchantment on our cat to make the cat speak as well. So, yeah, that's a thing. So, um, let's just do this, shall we? Let's use the key on the door. Lemon's locked the door when he left for that esoteric retreat. And, of course, he has no phone signal or internet. Great. Well, we'll go in and see what we've got in store in here then. Also, I've been told that the voice actor has changed for Buzz as well. Um, I'm not really sure why, but apparently Cipro said when he played the game it was a different voice actor. Which is um, interesting. Right, let's take a look at this, shall we? This severely decorated closet. I have a feeling somewhere inside this horribly over-decorated piece of furniture lies what we're looking for. Probably, and I saw the cat was sort of rolling around outside it as well, so... My eyes, they water. <laughs> it's very, very bright, that is for sure. It's locked. I know it's locked. It's, it's always locked. Well, maybe the cat can do something? All right, kitty. I have a feeling the notebook we're looking for is somewhere inside this locked closet. I can't really think of a way to open it. Couldn't you just randomly combine some household items into a makeshift key or something? Maybe. Uh, I'm sure I could, but I was thinking maybe you could shoulder this particular burden. <sighs> Let's not make a habit of this. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, wow. This particular thing is giving me dizzy cells. Oh, here it is. I haven't Ooh. done that since I was a kitten. <laughs> Still got it. Still got it indeed. Right, what is that? A book of some kind. Is it a diary? Yes, a diary. All right, well, let's look at other things in here before we open up the diary, shall we? Uh, we'll see See what else is going on in this place. Minuscule guitar thing. It's one of those lick all all uh, tiny cute guitars. Ukuleles. <laughs> it's cute. Yeah, I suppose it is. Can we use it? Oh, no. My band days are long gone. Fair enough. I don't think she'd be inclined to play that thing. Yeah, I, I don't think so. Gaudy hippie cloth. Let's look at oh, this. Oh, that's gaudy. Hey, looks like there's something under this. Oh, nice. What's underneath it? What do you know? A pair of scissors. Scissors. Maybe we can cut the cloth with the scissors. Who knows? Another item for our invent, though, which is always good. Uh, what is this? Conspicuously open book. It's a book Lemon left open. Well, let's see here. Page on the left says a compass is a magnetized pin floating in a solution. It's not the 1700s anymore, <laughs> Lemon. Jeez, what a luddite. Yeah, I think we all know what a compass is. Page on the right says invisible ink. Use lemon juice to write secret messages on paper. Only you will be able to then read them by bringing the paper close to a source of heat. Ah. No, make that a source of mild heat, not open flame. Hmm. Right, so I wonder then if... Uh, Lemon's gonna have written an invisible ink in this diary, perhaps? It's a book Lemon left open. Well, it's okay, we, we know about that. Uh, anything the no cat need. wants to do? I can read it myself. Nope. Okay, incense stick. Of all things whose purpose is to be lit up, this one scares me the least. Ah, maybe we can light that then to show it. But surely, what else? <laughs> I can't just snap my fingers and produce fire, unfortunately. Well, not yet, but we do have the Necronomicon, so maybe that could help in some way. A tribal mask. I think it's supposed to be a fertility idol. Kinda scary if you ask me. Yeah, interesting I placement as well. I would not sleep with that thing above my head, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Neither would I. We thankfully have no need for it. Okay, good. Primitive or not, I doubt Kitty appreciates art. Actually, I've been a little into cubism There lately. we go. <laughs> I knew Stop. something like that was coming. Right. So, I think that is pretty much all we can do in here. So, let's try looking at this. Uh, the pages are all blank. What am I missing here? Yeah, there we go. So, uh, were there lemons anywhere in here? I don't know. What was this? Suspicious cookie. Very suspicious cookie. Effects remain to be determined. Okay. What was this? Can of Dr. Fisher. For some reason, I picked up this can of the phallus soda widely available. Okay. Um, can we... Uh, no. I think I want it in one piece. Right, okay. Nah, I don't need to cut it. Okay, so... No way, I need... Right, so we need that. There was... Wasn't there something to do with lemons around here somewhere? 
can't remember from the last episode. I was thinking maybe in the fridge or something. Or was this a lemon cake? That's been there since Lemon left for that esoteric retreat. I'm frankly afraid to touch it. Was it a lemon cake? I'm not double messing with lemon stuff. Okay, maybe not. Uh, there was definitely something to do with it, though. Framed picture. Oh, unless, of course, we don't need to use the lemon. Because he's already used it. So perhaps we can just light this. Okay, very nice. Yay. <laughs> Mood lighting. Right, can we do this? Let's moderately heat this baby. Right, okay, that might... Yes, it's working. Yes, it worked. Oh, lemon, one too many cheesy detective novels. All right, kitty. Now let's see this list here. Mm -hmm. Woo. I think I got it. How's VG for all your supernatural needs sound? And there's the address. We're practically neighbors. Okay. It's the best option we've got so far. Uh, there's something I'm not sure I mentioned before. This detective that was looking for the Necronomicon, Don, got kidnapped right in front of me. He did. That was a plot right, twist, wasn't it? it? Let's go. But we've got to try and rescue him. All right. Do you know who kidnapped him? Uh, I guess we have no lead yet lead sam spade over here you know how you humans always stereotype us as being selfish <laughs> uh sorry about that don't be because in my case that's exactly wow it is. okay I'm sorry but i could give a kitten's fluffy tail about your detective friend my main worry right now is my own predicament fair enough why didn't you call the police or something oh dark competing only the most corrupt and despicable organization in town oh right that's how it is this look like Fuzzy bunnies nibbling on baby carrots by comparison. No, we're on our own. Interesting imagery. Anyway, your friend Don's on his own too. It's a catty cat world out there. How about we keep him as objective B, alright? That sounds Whatever like a good a idea. Works for me. Let's roll, Marlo. Let's roll. Okay, off we go then. We're going to this uh, some sort of shop, I'm guessing. Okay, chapter one, Darkham. So that was all like a bit of a prologue then. So here we go. This is like the main game. Wow. All right, kitty. Looks like we're on a quest together. Any cool battle cry like words before we embark on it? I'm a little hungry and I'm afraid my fur is going to get all matted in these filthy streets. <laughs> Sorry, you were saying? I was thinking more like time for, you know, whatever adrenaline pumping music kids listen to these days. Time for a bossa nova. <laughs> Let's get on <laughs> with it. Don't think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the cat. The cat's really funny. Um, I love this. This has got a really cool vibe, hasn't it? This whole place. I love it. It's, it's awesome. Right, Looming Tower. Was that the that library? That ominous tower belongs to the local waterworks. Oh, it wasn't. Okay. I wonder if they can pump water up that high. Don't know. There's stock of a dozen people jumping off it. I guess you could call it popular. Yeah, in a weird way. No, thanks. I'll stick around for now. Right, who's this? Little girl. A weird looking kiddo in the middle of the street. Okay. I think I'd better talk to her. <sighs> What's with this stumbling person? They look really drunk. <laughs> right, uh, I guess we talk. Ooh, what's that on the left? Hey, little girl, what are you doing in the street by yourself this late at night? Hey, big guy, what are you doing disturbing peaceful citizens for no good reason this late at night? Wow, the sass. Well, let me try that again. What's your name, kiddo? If you must know, it's Priscilla. Okay. Are you sure you don't mean Priscilla? Do I look like the kind of person who can't correctly pronounce their own name? <laughs> it's Priscilla! What's your name, smarty pants? Wow. Um, Buzz. Buzz? <laughs> My dad really loved his electric shear. <laughs> Made a new friend, plus five charisma, minus ten intimidation. <laughs> Right, you know, you won't get ahead in life with that kind of attitude, kiddo. Hey, I was just genuinely concerned. Hey, I was just genuinely concerned. Well, don't be. Drop my fishy and that's lying up there, and Grandma let me come out on the street and try to get it. Ah. But I can't reach it! Okay, alright. Alright, alright, settle down. Can't Grandma help you out? Aren't your mom and dad around? Aren't your mom or dad around? Mom and dad moved to Fishmith last month. Right. And we'll move there too, soon. 
Not until I get my fishy. All right, all right, I'll help. All right, all right, settle down. Can't Grandma help you out? Grandma's been taking her bath for quite a while now. Right. Grandma says we'll go to Fishma soon. Hmm. We're just waiting for this big bathtub we ordered to be delivered. Grandma can't go traveling without her new bathtub. Why? All right, weird enough. All right, uh, you know, this just feels wrong somehow. You know, this just feels wrong somehow. I'm a dark-haired little girl, standing in the middle of the street at night, holding a doll by the hand. Scared yet? <laughs> Scared? Nope. A little bit creeped out by how irresponsible your grandma is, I'll give you that. Yeah. Uh, so, you're just standing there, huh? So, you're just, uh, standing there, huh? People tend to do that in this kind of game. <laughs> that is very yeah, true. I always wondered about that. Very I just true. like to watch them sitting there. Their little lies away. Okay. Okay. He said the exact same thing. Yeah, that was um. Right. We'll just. She's still looking. <laughs> it's so creepy. What the hell? What is this? It used Lord to be you'd absentmindedly open this door, and the whole of Darkham would be flooded. But she's still staring at. Like, directly into my soul. I don't like it. It's kidding, my cat. She talks now. She does. Your cat? Yeah. Uh, just a figure of speech. Is that... Is that water I hear lapping behind the wall? Yeah, we probably don't want to open that up, right? Let's leave that for now. What's this graffiti? That sign keeps popping up all over the place lately. Hmm. Interesting. It somehow looks... Oh. Maybe some sort of rune or something? Wouldn't know what to do with it. I don't wow, oh god, there's a lot of things to look at around here. So there's the fish doll. Uh, we can look at the bridge. You know, I've never crossed that bridge, and I got there several times. <laughs> right. Ever notice how philosophical bridges are? They are people quite philosophical. Go. Go. Ugh, friggin' thoughts, go away. <laughs> Alright, well, we're not going to use the bridge. So there's the doll, right? That's what we need. Who has a fish doll? I think it's that little girl's fish doll. It, it is indeed. Uh, right, can we reach I that? can't reach it from down here. No, we might have to send the cat up to get that, right? Hey, kitty, how about you climb up and get that fishy for me? Well, you got to ask yourself, Buzz. What do we stand to gain from me exerting myself in that manner? The creepy girl doesn't mm, curse us or something. Now, I guess. See? Don't anger me, feline. Come on, Buzz. You're embarrassing yourself. Don't you want to do it just to put a smile yeah. on that little girl's face? Yeah, exactly. You mean that pale abomination? <laughs> How about we have nothing to do with her or her face? How's that sound? You're hard as the tip of a glacier that was accidentally bitten off by a blind, evil old sea monster, kitty. Don't try to flatter me. It won't work. <laughs> I love the cat. The cat's my favorite character so far. All right, let's look in this window then. Ugh, never could stand fish. There's lots of fish in there. How people can eat that? Is beyond me. I like that glass right there between those monstrosities and me. Okay. Uh, but I bet the cat likes fish, right? Fishmut's own. There, now I'm that one guy in the theater reading the title out loud. <laughs> that was as much interest as I could muster up about this shop sign. Okay. Uh, hideous fish dressed as a human. That's interesting. If they're trying to keep people away from Fishmouth, it's working. Yeah. Right, can we... No, we can't go in here. It's closed. It's the door to the fishery. Okay, what have we got down here? Uh, Christopher Valiant Street. Christopher Valiant Street. Never heard of him. <laughs> right, okay. Um... Tiny Prince says his body was found headless on the street, so they named it after him. Charming story. Lovely. That sounds like a perfect thing to name a street well, after. Well, he can now quit while he's ahead. Ha <laughs> ha. At least it brought things to a head. <laughs> God. <laughs> All right. What else we've got here? A male model picture. Man, that's one attractive dude. Is it? This picture of a male model. I Looks a bit like Johnny need, Bravo. I need to have it. Okay, we'll take it. We need it. Just to be clear, I'm not picking this up for personal use. Whatever you want to do with it is fine. That's, you know. 
but we might need it to solve a puzzle. Ooh. What? What happened there? Did it go? Yeah, it went into the invent. Okay. So, that's fine. So, we can go left here, or we can go right here the other way. So, oh, I love the shadows. I've just seen that. The shadows, and, the, and they get bigger and smaller as you get closer to the light source. That's really cool. Uh, but that's where we're going to leave it for this one, guys. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, and Nate for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. It really helps YouTube push this out to more people and people who might want to join our little point-and-click community that we're putting together here. And I will see you all next time.